In today's YouTube video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the best settings here in Modern Warfare 3. Now, in this video, we're going to be covering the best controller settings, aim assist settings, movement settings, and just everything that you need to use here in Modern Warfare 3. So if you guys are new here and find this video help, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with notice on, and let's get into it. Now, jumping into my settings, guys, what we're going to start off with here first is my controller settings. Now, I'm only going to go over the most important things that you need to change. I'm not going to go through every single thing because I don't want the video to be too long. Now, the first thing that we're going to be talking about is controller vibration. Vibration. I have this off now why I have this off is because in Call of Duty for the last few years What they've done is literally everything causes a vibration if you're playing a quick play You know 10 12 minute game or if you're playing war like a 16 20 minute game the whole game just vibrating It could be annoying and also when getting into those gunfights, you know if something vibrates your controller, you lose a gunfight. And like I've said in my settings videos, the smallest things can cause you to lose a gunfight. And this thing right here, having this on will do that. So make sure to have it off. Now, our dead zone input. Now, this is really important here. This may be one of the most important things here in this video. Now, if you can copy these down real quick, and also if you want to check your, uh, if you want to check if you have stick drift, you can see here. Now, my left and right are spazzing a little bit. Nothing too bad. If they were both like over this way, over here, or just moving crazy, I'd have to go buy a new controller. But you don't have to do that, so make sure to copy these down. Now, what I have here going on is I made my settings for my controller very sensitive, so it's going to help me out. I'm not having to press down on my analog sticks hard, my triggers, my buttons. It's just going to make the controller you know, last longer. We want that because I know everyone has their favorite controller. No Controllers are getting expensive. I do know that. So you know, copy these down. It's going to make your controller sensitive. It's going to help you get better, and also it's going to help your controller. So make sure to copy those down down now jumping over here to my aiming settings now we have our horizontal and vertical stick sensitivity i have mine at 7 7 now this isn't too slow it's not too fast it's just kind of in the middle and from someone going from like super crazy sensitivities like 20 20 max out and everything just trying to move really quick around the map with our sensitivity it's kind of pointless honestly now i've realized the slower you can get the better and stickier your aim is going to be. And you guys have seen the gameplays. My aim is pretty nice. So you want to copy that down. And also our ADS sensitivity multiplier, which is pretty important. We're going to put this at 0.95. You can keep it at 1.00 if you really want to. Or you can go down to 0.90 if you really want to. But I don't recommend going any lower. I would keep it just right here or 0.95. And personally for me, 0.95 does the job. Now, we are going to go down to the aim response curve type, and we have dynamic. Now, I'm not going to go into detail, tell you why you should run and everything. Just know dynamic is the best thing that you can use here in Call of Duty. This is what pros use, and I'm sure 99.9% .9 of Call of Duty players use this, which I'm sure you guys know that, so go ahead and add that on. Now, we're going to jump down to the aim assist settings here. Now, we have our target aim assist on. You want to keep that on. If you're on controller, keep it on. If you have this off, that's why you're losing gunfights. That's just how it is. I'm sorry to tell you, but having this off is not the best move. You want to have this on. It is going to help you win gunfights. It's going to help you aim better. So having this on. And then the final thing here for our aiming settings is our aim assist type. Now, I went back to default at Season 5 of Modern Warfare 2 because they nerfed Black Ops. So, I'm not really worried about Black Ops unless they get buffed here in Modern Warfare 3. Unless I see a video on why it's better than default, precision, or focusing. Default is the best way to go. Or if you're used to Black Ops still from Modern Warfare 2, just go ahead and add on that. Now the gameplay, now this is going to be like movement and everything, so the first thing is going to be right here at the top, automatic sprint, and we're going to put our automatic tactical sprint. Now, you see how I'm always running, you know, people have asked me in last, like a couple videos ago, how are you running all the time, you know, how are you getting so many kills? Automatic tactical sprint helps with that, you're always running across the map, and especially having the infantry vest on this year, you're always getting your tactical sprint back, and also, in Modern Warfare 2, you can melee and jump and reset that tactical sprint. I don't know if you could do it here in Modern Warfare 3, but if you can, you're literally going to have unlimited tax sprint. You're running around the map really quick. You're getting into more engagements, getting those high kill games, and that's what you're going to want to run. Now, the next thing that we're going to be talking about here is the grounded metal. 
automatic mantle and automatic ground mantling and hang we're gonna have this all on off so what this is gonna do is if you're near something you jump near something a ledge an object or something that you can jump over you are automatically gonna mantle that so if you're in a gunfight or you know if you're running around if you jump and mantle over something someone kills you it's because of this you know you don't want to mantle everything just automatically you want this man like you know autumn like you want it manually so having this off is going to help out a lot and then we have slide dive behavior now we know here in Modern Warfare 3 we do have slide canceling back and i don't really see diving in the movement meta i just see slide canceling and sliding so what you're going to do here is actually put this on slide only so you're only going to be sliding there's no more diving so if you worry about you're going to dive instead of sliding just change this you will literally only slide so that's all you need to change here now we are going to go down here and there's one more thing that we're going to be changing here and that's going to be the c4 quick detonation now if you're going to be someone that uses c4 you may not this might be relevant to you but if you want to have this on and maybe just throw one c4 at a time and blow them up you want to put this at one by one i know this is not like crazy important here but i think it's pretty important now jumping over here to our graphic settings what we're going to do is we're going to just going to move over to view because everyone has their own display and quality settings you know you may be on your own pc you have your own settings on that so we're not going to cover that so what we're going to cover here next is going to be the field of view and everything which is really important here in call of duty and the first thing that's going to be is field of view fov and we're going to put this at 120 so what this is going to do is just going to make the game look so much better it's way more wider not everything's all clunked up and everything it just makes the game look better and personally for me it makes me play a lot better so going from console 6 60 fov 80 fov jumping up to 120 was literally game changing so if you're not using 120 fov i don't know what you're doing bump that all the way up it is going to make you feel like you have rollerblades on your feet move really quick but it is a placebo so make sure to copy this down now we have our ADS field of view. Now, as you guys see here, we have uh, you know two pictures. One is independent on the left. One is affected on the right. And as you guys see here, with independent, if I were to have this on, if I were to aim down sights with my weapon, my screen would zoom in. Also, we don't want that. Maybe if you were like an SMG player for comp, but you know this is pubs. We don't care about that. But also we have affected, which is going to be your best option. And also what this is going to do if you have affected on it's going to be zoomed out so when you get into those gunfights and shoot it's going to make it look like you have less recoil and also it's going to make it look like you have less visual recoil so it's just a lot better to see way more clear and everything and personally i feel like it's going to help you guys out a lot and then we have our weapon field of view we're going to put this on wide so what this is going to do is make the weapon look a lot smaller as well so again we are going to have less visual recoil so it's going to help the weapon out and it's going to help you out in those gunfights and then here for our camera settings here on the bottom what we're going to change is our world motion blur and our weapon motion blur we're going to put this on off we don't want our game looking blurry we want it nice and crisp to see really good our film grain we're going to turn that all the way down and the only thing that we're changing here last is our first person camera movement and we're going to put it at 50 percent now over here at our interface settings now there's only two things i do want to change here which is in our hud option here in our interface settings and the first thing is going to be the mini map shape now if you are on circled or if you know anybody that's on circled mini map tell them or tell yourself you're at a disadvantage because guys i am telling you if you're playing on circle mini map you are playing modern warfare 3 wrong you need to put that back on square or if you haven't never had it on put that on the square mini map because since we are back with the og mini map if you are shooting without a suppressor if you have a uav or advanced uav you want to find as many people as possible and you see more of the mini map if you are on a square so make sure to copy that down and also you want your player names to be on full name so you see the full name on top of them so it makes it a little bit easier to see when in those gunfights now for our last part of our video the only thing i would do want to talk about here in the audio is going to be the audio mix now we're going to put this on headphone bass boost now having this on you, it just makes your headset louder now if you're not running a headset i don't really know what you're doing 
If you're playing with speakers, again, you're at a disadvantage like with the Circle Mini Map. Having a headset, you just hear more clear. And especially having this on, it literally sounds like people are elephants just stomping and you hear more clear. But that's the only thing I wanted to talk about here. And we went over all the important settings that you guys need to copy down. So if you guys are new here, let me know in the comment section what is something that you changed. Did it make you better? And also, if you guys are new and find this video help, like I said, hit that like button. Subscribe the channel with notice on. Thank you guys for watching. You guys stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.